Okay, so we have this simple shape here, which is like an upside down T. Um, now, when we look at each of the boxes, there are 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters high. I would like to draw an oblique projection view of it. Now, in order to start that, what I'm going to do is draw the elevation view. As we know, the elevation is what we see when we look straight in. Now, in this question, when we look straight in, we're going to see this upside down T shape. So, I'm going to draw... Starting here, I'm going to measure up 25, sorry, 25, 50, 75, and 100. So as you can see, I've measured my distances. And I'm just going to go horizontally across now. Now, my next distance is going to be 125 going this way, and we're going to go in 25s again. Now, from each of those dots, I'm going to draw a vertical line up. Very important, lads, when we draw in vertical lines, we have to use our T-square to ensure our set square is level. Now, I have my shape, so what I can do is I can darken it in to get my orthograph projection outline. Lovely. So as you can see, that's our elevation view. Now I need to make this 3D using oblique. As we know, oblique projection is constructed using a 45 degree set square. So I'm going to take my 45 degree set square, and from each point, I'm going to go back at 45 degrees. Now this is a light construction line. Lovely. So I've drawn back from all my points. Now, as I can see from my question, my thickness is 50 millimeters. So on my compass, I'm going to get 50 millimeters. And from each point, I'm going to go back the way. So 50. Lovely. Now I'm going to start by darkening in these lines. Now, if we look at these two points here, I will not see that detail in 3D. It's hidden detail, and we don't have to draw it in at the moment. So we won't see that, so I'm not going to darken in. With regards to this line, I'm going to see a portion of it darkened in. As you can see, it goes back this far, but I'm only going to see that amount of it there. So as you can see, we have a horizontal line here. So we're going to join that now with a horizontal line. And here we have two vertical lines. And that there is the oblique projection shape of our question.